Hey Scorpios, welcome to your general reading for April. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you guys know me, welcome back. And I'll leave information on the decks of cards that I use in the description box along with information on how to contact me for personal readings. So, Scorpios, April. Let's see what's going on with you guys. It's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you how you deal with this, right? Perception. Oops, oops, okay, okay. Okay, you're telling us. Romance, you're ready, okay? You can deny it as much as you want. You can put it off as much as you want. It's up to you. But you're ready. This is an imminent romance, whether it's from um, a pre-existing romance, whether you're in a relationship, it's like um, revitalizing a relationship or this is a brand new relationship. You're ready for this. You're ready for this positivity, this love and everything um, that is coming in, okay? You're ready for it. So accept it. Be open to it. Be open to receiving love as well as giving it because you do give a lot. I mean, people don't usually realize until it's too late, but you do give a lot of love. Okay, so you're ready for whatever's coming your way. And it looks like romance. Wonderful. Can't wait. I'm a Scorpio too. You guys know. Yeah, this is like, you know, what you have been sowing it's time to reap, guys, okay? This is reaping your reward. Six of Pentacles, positive energy coming in, a balancing out of the scales. So if you've been giving and giving and giving, it's time to receive. If you've been taking and taking and taking, it's time to give, okay? Um, this is being able to repay your bills as well. Um, you know, good money energy coming in for you guys. Well, it's up to you. It's on the up to you card, right? So if you've been putting in the work, you will have that money coming in. Two of swords. So if you're wondering, you know, um, did I make the right choices? I haven't seen any um, reward or any results yet. Fear not. It's coming, okay? Fear not. Did I make the right decision leaving this relationship in the past? You know, it's always darkest before dawn, isn't it, right? So I feel like you may just be asking, have I made the right decision? But don't question yourself here, okay? Don't let other people make you question yourself. Maybe you've been taken from all your life and people are making you question here. You know, is it me? You know... Don't do that, okay? Stop yourself before it starts, Scorpio. Don't let other people question you. If you've been putting in the good energy, you're going to see the good rewards now, okay? With that Six of Pentacles. And it may be in the form of love. Justice, what did I say? That balancing out of the scales is coming. You know, justice is coming here. And there is a cosmic justice as well on the way. So, you know, anybody who left you confused or whatever, you know, I see maybe now you're leaving them behind you dead in the water, like, you know, leaving behind like anybody who's trying to weigh you down, trying to make you feel bad about yourself. It's time to cut them off. Anybody who's got you second guessing about yourself, it's time to do what's best for you, right? It's karmic time, okay? Karma's here, so time for justice so like I said we reap what we sow so whatever you've been putting out expect that back queen of pentacles there you go good money good business good health um nurturing yourself you've learned here to take care of yourself some people may not like it I mean they will think well you're being selfish you're being selfish you're not looking after me all oh, right so you should keep putting your energy into people who are not giving back to you and they would consider that selfish, right? Well, that's their business because it's not selfish to take care of yourself because if you end up giving and giving, you're very quickly going to go bankrupt. You're very quickly going to run out of energy and steam for yourself. So you need to be selfish. It's taking care of yourself. Just it's their perspective on life. 
because now maybe they wasn't giving enough, you've taken it back and given to yourself, they may not like it. I mean, who's going to like it when karma comes knocking on their door? Could be an earth sign that the new romance is going to be with here, or a Libra. You know, you, you look strong here. You look strong as the Queen of Pentacles, taking care of yourself. Um, you've learned to nurture yourself, not just other people with the Six of Pentacles, right? You've learned to bring this balance into your life. If you haven't, that's what you'll be doing, learning this balance, learning the, you know, you can't keep blaming other people for being toxic. You have to take on some responsibility and cut them out if needs be. And I know, like, probably a lot of Scorpios here look like they go ghost when they are just taking time out to take care of themselves, nurture and love themselves here. I get it, guys, cross watchers. Um, but it's needed, right? You guys need to take care of yourselves too. Knight of Wands. This is this romance rushing in, okay? Remember how much you've nurtured yourself. So a lot of passionate energy around right now. I get it, guys. I really do. Make sure you focus it into something positive because you will be receiving. Look how the sun's shining on you here. I feel like you will be receiving a lot of positive energy um, like the sun is shining on you here. Like the stars are lining up for you. This is um, Sagittarius energy, um, but it could be any fire sign coming towards you here. I just feel like you feel revitalized and ready to take on the world because you've had this time out. So now it's time that you receive. And that's what we see in this Knight of Wands card. You now like being blessed or something here. Take action. I feel like people will either be viewing you as selfish or very attractive as a go-getter, um, somebody who enjoys themselves, has fun, um, or maybe people are viewing you as a player. You know, cross-watchers may feel like there's some Scorpios out there who are really a player. They don't know what they want, right? And that's a Scorpio that's not been given to you, that's gone ghost. But if that's the case, you need to withdraw your energy back from them, balance out the scales and take care of yourself here. Start putting this energy into you. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself, how you would a child even. Feed yourself, grow yourself. Exercise. Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a love offer coming in and it's an offer of commitment here. It's a foundation being laid. So I feel like if you're in this high vibration, what you will receive is like an offer to be with somebody, to live with somebody, to marry somebody here. This is definitely a very stable offer or a definite, if you're starting a new business, reaping your rewards because we see good money cards here. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This can be you've been working in secret about something for a long time and it finally pays off. You finally see this reward coming with the Justice card. Ten of Wands, yeah, saying goodbye to burdens now. Leaving all those hard times in the past, laying them down, learning to say no to people. Okay, not taking on everybody else's burden and letting it burn down your house here. Okay, because I feel like that's what you've been doing. Now you've learned to end this cycle. So you could have even been in a relationship or relationships throughout your life to learn these lessons. That every time you took on everybody else's burden, it seemed to, you know, seep onto you. You know, when you take that darkness away from somebody else, it seeps into your life and burns your house down here. So you're putting an end to that now. You're learning to say no and love yourself here. Wonderful. I mean, we all need to do that, right? We all need to learn to say no. Knight of Swords, you have offers and offers and offers. There's a Knight of Swords. There's a Knight of Wands. There's a Queen of Pentacles. So you have fire, air and earth that are coming after you here that all want to lay their sword down or their offer, their ace of pentacles down for you here. 
Um, but it seems like maybe one of them is a better match for you, okay? So if, if you're cross-watching and the Scorpio's in this player energy, you need to learn to say no to them, end that cycle. Not keep making them offers because they'll keep running away faster and faster. Um, probably the worst thing you can do is chase a Scorpio. Um, they really and truly, if you want to know how to get a Scorpio, ignore them. They can't take it. <laughs> they can't take it. Honestly, I'm a Scorpio. You guys know in the description box how much Scorpio I've got in my chart. So I've been there myself when I was in a lower vibration. If I'm ignored, that's when I can't take it. That's when I'll prove a point to chase the person down myself. <laughs> So yeah, Four of Swords. So you've been through this healing. And I just said this in the Taurus video. This is like a forced time out where we're in this quarantine and self-isolation and lockdowns and things. We're having this forced time out by the divine here to heal ourselves, heal ourselves, heal our boundaries, heal, heal our love and things. Um, you know, in the world right now, this is definitely needed. Nothing will move until you've healed. So if you're saying, I haven't got a new romance, then think about if you're in um, Knight of Wands energy or Knight of Swords energy. So you could be quite hurtful with your truths. So you may feel quite righteous and things like that. You could be saying things like, just correcting people for the sake of correcting them. Like, oh, you did this wrong. And, you know, it's like pointing that outwards. Um, in that case, you would feel like you're not really moving forward. If you're in this Knight of Wands energy and you're a player and you're going in and out of people's lives, still, you need to heal. Really, you want to be aiming for this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? And then you would take this time to work on your business, work on yourself and not see it as a negative, you'd learn to say no to people with the Ten of Wands there. So learn to say no to a player if you have a player in and out of your life, maybe a Leo for some. Um, learn to say no to them and let go of them, right? And then we see somebody, a new romance coming in very quickly for you guys, the sun. <laughs> okay, Leo. <laughs> Always have to make yourself known, don't you? Okay, for some of you, a Leo will up their game and ante and will turn this no into a yes. I'm <laughs> sorry, they will. They just know how to charm you here. Probably very good looking and very passionate. Maybe they know you really well, but the more you say no to them, just like a Scorpio, the more they'll chase you and the more their ego will um, make them rise up if you like. Jeez, this is going wrong. So let's say goodbye there. Good luck, Scorpios.